Hey everybody, welcome back to Liferay in Toulon. Ryobi has came out with some new fans and I figured it was probably a good opportunity to compare the old fan and the new fan. This new fan is a hybrid fan and it is model number PCL811. The old fan is model number P3320. Now the new fan is part of the Quiet series which means it's quieter, obviously, um, but they're also supposed to be better performance as well. Um, to go along with that quieter. Now this boasts that it can be 44% more quieter than this older version. And this puts out 24% more air velocity than this one. So the specs on this one are, it has three settings, a low, medium, and high. On the low setting is 930 RPM. Uh, next setting, which is the medium setting, is 1500 RPM and then the high setting is 1850 RPM. Um, so that's actually not too bad. If you take a look at this, it's kind of flatter. It looks bigger than this one, but actually the fan shroud and everything is just about the same. This has more of a cone design on the back. But let's talk about this one. This one is not part of the Quiet Series. This is part of the old series, but it is a hybrid as well. It has two different speeds. You have a low and then you have a high. On the low speed, it is 1400 RPM, and on the high speed, it's actually 2100 RPM. So they backed it down a little bit to 1850 from 2100. Maybe that's how they're getting the Quiet Series out of it. Um, but we're gonna test these out today, not only on uh, how loud it is, but we're also gonna test it out to see what is the actual airflow. And I'm gonna use the same thing that I did last time in order to test this out. Now you all may make fun of me for doing this, but this little pinwheel works fantastic for gauging airflow, at least from a distance. But before we get into the test, let's talk about a little bit of mounting. So for this particular fan, you can actually mount it on a wall. It has a hook right here and it has a little mount. So you mount it down and you can uh, point it in whatever direction that you need to. I've been using this fan for, uh, I, I bought it when it came out, so I've been using it for years. You can see it's got you know some spray paint on it. Um, it's pretty beat up. I'm missing some parts because I've dropped it. Um, lately, I've been using it in the summertime. I just plug it in and um, I use it all night. So it's been pretty fantastic. Uh, I cannot say anything bad about this. It's awesome. Uh, for this one right here, this one does have some mounting options on the bottom. As you can see right here, there's four mounting options. So this is going to be centered. You're going to be able to turn this down and go anywhere you want to. Uh, the handle is on top. I guess it's a little easier. The handle for this one's right on the back. So when the handle's on the back, I guess it changes the air velocity a little bit. Makes it, maybe makes it a little louder. Um, this one is a full intake grill on the back. There's nothing that is preventing the airflow. Uh, from the front, they're taking some notes from the four inch fan on this one, which um, this is pretty cool. So you have big brother now. And then this is the old design, which I don't mind this either. This is pretty awesome too. So without further ado, let's do the testing to see how these perform. Okay, so for the first test, uh, we're gonna run these just to see uh, how quiet they are. Now, just so I know that both of these have a fair shake, you all are pretty attentive out there. I'm gonna use two three amp hour batteries, so it's gonna get the same uh, power delivery to the back of it. So, let's plug that one in. Let's go ahead and get this one in. So, we're gonna start on number one with this one, so listen carefully. So here is the first speed. You know what, I, I really can't hear it. So I have a 3D printer going in the background and... That is super hard to hear. So that's number one. Here's number two. It's a little louder. Okay, I think number two is more comparable to uh, the first setting on this one. So let's turn this one on. Okay, so let's turn this one off. So this one's actually pretty quiet on the first setting as well, but it is louder than this on the first setting, but it's quieter than this one on the second setting. So let's turn this on number three. 
Okay, now let's turn this on number two. Okay, so this one is noticeably louder, but it's actually not that bad, but this is quieter. I will give it that. Now, uh, something that you should know is that both of these have 7.5 inch propellers on them. So whenever you, you go up in RPMs, or, or RPM, um, it is going to create more velocity, which is going to create more sound. So let's do a distance check on these. Okay, so I'm going to set this on low. And I'm going to take this tape measure and we're going to walk it backwards. We're going to stop at the five foot mark. Okay, here's five feet. Okay, so I can fill the air pretty good. Let's go to 10 feet. Uh, hold on, hold on. There it goes. Make sure it keeps going here. Eight. This is eight feet. Still spinning on low. Nine feet. Still spinning. So it looks like nine feet is the maximum on low that this fan can do. Let's put it on high. We're gonna start at 10 feet. So here's 10 feet. There it is. No problem. Let's see if we can go further. Fourteen feet. Not a problem. Let's go to fifteen. There it is. It's moving. All right, let's go to 17 feet. Oh, there it is. It's a little higher. It moved it a little bit. Okay, so looks like 17 feet on high. Okay, so we're gonna start out on low. This is the new fan. Number one. Five feet's not a problem at all. Wow, seven feet's not a problem. Nine feet's not a problem. Wow, 10 feet's not a problem. Okay, it looks like 12 feet, we stopped airflow. So we're gonna put it on the number two setting. We're gonna just go straight to 12 feet. feet. Oh, it's strong. Let's just go to 15 feet. There's 15. There's 16. There's 17. There's 18. Wow, there's Okay, 20 feet on setting two, I still have no issues. 21 feet, no problem. 
Okay, so I had to do something a little bit different. Now that I have to go to setting three, um, it's actually so strong even on setting two, I'm maximizing the space for where I was testing. So if you look over here, I actually had to put the table and the actual fan in my boiler room. And this is all the measurements on the floor over here. So I've marked on the floor because I'm longer than the measuring tape, was, which was 25 feet. Uh, so I'm gonna walk back and I've marked on the floor from the fan all the way back and that's a total of 30 feet because uh, that's how long this room is. So I'm actually just gonna hold the camera and we're just gonna roll through it and you're gonna see the little pinwheel spin. Okay, so setting three. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the, 20, the 26 foot mark. There it goes, 26 feet. This is 28 feet. Twenty-eight feet is no problem. Let's just go ahead and go to thirty. Okay, so there we go. I wasn't able to get thirty. We've got twenty-nine feet. Twenty-nine feet. There we go. All right, everybody. So that is the quick and patriotic test. Uh, you know what? I know it's antiquated, but it actually does work. Um, and I'm surprised how well that actually works uh, Works catching uh, catching air in the pinwheel because um, it does show pretty good velocity. Now, are all the claims true for this? You know what, this is really quiet on number one setting. In fact, I'm just gonna keep it running here because you're not gonna be able to hear it. It's, it's ultra quiet there. I think number two and number three um, are still pretty comparable when it comes to sound. Are the claims real for the extra velocity? Yes, I think that the test really did show that this gives out much more airflow than this one does. Uh, so the efficiency of this is really good. It has a taller stance to it as well, has a bigger base. You have an extra setting too. So bravo, Ryobi, you actually made it better. Um, and that's saying a lot because this was a really good fan. So thank you for doing that. I hope that you all enjoyed this quick little comparison. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.